Alright y'all, I am back with another video and I decided to do a wig video. Don't mind this line right here. I am using it so I know where my part is. Um, this wig is just something I last minute wanted to do. It was a nice curly wig I saw on YouTube and I'm just tired of wetting my curly hair like and washing it in the winter and like me freaking out thinking that I might get pneumonia, you know what I mean? Us curly girls, y'all know. So, Alex had to come up with another solution. So, I got this <laughs> curly wig. Yeah. And um, it is called Destiny. It's color number two. Or the color is 1B. They lied. I said two and they gave me one B. No wonder it's so freaking dark. I don't know how this is going to look on me because you know I'm kind of blind. But anyways, um, this is she. Her name is Destiny. It has a big gap in the lace front so I can part it any other way I want to do it. And I'm just, this is an unboxing. I'm going to try it on without, you know, touching it up or I was going to say effing with it, but messing with it. And... Let's just see how it turns out. So, let's do this. I am so nervous. My husband's gonna kill me. Like, I locked the bathroom door because I don't want him to know that I got some more weave. Hold up. Hair's all in the comb. Okay, so don't judge, okay? This is this is the first try in front of you guys. So, so there's a comb in the back and two on the side. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so scared. So I'm hooking the cones. It's crazy. Y'all gonna see it first before I even see it. Okay. And she's here. Oh my God. Oh Lord. I don't know. It looks very wiggy. I know I'm gonna have to mess with this. Give me a second. Oh my God. Where the frick is the part? I can't even find the part anymore okay i can't find the part okay let me find the part and i'll be back oh okay y'all i finally got my life together i would say this is the most snuggest like perfect fit wig that i've had so far but i only had two actually three because one i like completely screwed and cut it too short and yeah, it's in the garbage, in the trash, but yeah, so this is where I'm at. I think once I, you know, cut the lace, get the part in, and put the makeup, like the concealer in the middle, and then like loosen up these curls and give it like a certain look, I think this will be super cute. It's just like very big, I like it, but it's definitely kind of wiggy right now because the curls are like too perfect. So let me just judge around and get back to y'all, but I'm kind of feeling it. It's kind of diva-ish, so let me just play around with this um, and take it from there, okay? Love y'all. Hey guys, I'm back with the rig review and style video. This is a synthetic sensual Vela lace front wig in the style Destiny. And I'm loving these bouncy curls, y'all. To make the wig more natural, I decided to section off the front of my hair into a, like a middle section, about like three inches, I would say, of hair width-wise. The reason why I'm doing that is to make my look more versatile and more realistic. I want to make some faux bangs and I'm too scared to cut it right now because I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a trick how to make some quick faux bangs.
But first, we've got to make sure that you have a, it nice and snug. We're going to use this Gorilla Gel. And it's not glue, it's gel. But this is really going to fasten that wig on tight so nobody can snatch it off, honey. I decided to use a makeup brush to dip the gel in. And then I'm putting it and applying it on my edges. You'll see the trick in a bit. Make sure to lather it on so you have enough to make the wig stick to your hair and your scalp. Right now I'm pressing down, pressing down on them edges, and then we're gonna use a blow dryer to really fasten that on so it's not gonna fly and go anywhere. I'm using it on the cool setting so it won't be too hot, but I do that for both sides. In real time, I did this about a minute per side. I really wanted to have it fastened and just look natural and not rise up and lift up from your head. Once you feel comfortable, the next step is to really blend in some of that lace with the dark hair so nobody can see your little secret. So I'm using a black powder and I'm kind of slowly like tapping and rubbing it in to blend some of that lace because I didn't want the lace directly on my forehead. I kind of just wanted to sit back so I can show my baby hairs and it'll look more natural. And you can really just hide it with the black powder or whatever powder you choose to match the hair color that you have. Right now I have a 1B, so I believe this is a 1B hair color, so it's pretty dark, a dark brown. Look at them edges, laid, we laid that. So now you can take down your front bang section, and what we're going to do is twist it around itself, leave the last three to four inches loose, pull it back, and we're gonna bobby pin this and just make this work, y'all. Trust me, it's gonna look really nice and natural. You only need two or three bobby pins to achieve this look. And I just played around with it until I felt comfortable, until I felt like it looked real and nice and fly. You'll get the hang of it, just practice. Yes girl, you know you look good when you start posing all in the mirror and the camera, checking yourself out. doing your thing just relax and enjoy the process it's all fun and play fun and games fun and games until you <laughs> don't look good <laughs> but right now this is all fun because this is turning out really well for us really well especially for the first try so yeah i'm feeling myself mm -hmm. and then i took a nice pick comb and i'm just teasing it out so it's not flat at the scalp and really has that body, girls. Yeah, we want that body. Then take the scissors and I started trimming at the length. Nobody's hair is exactly one length, especially when it comes to curls. So in order to give that fullness, I'm trimming at the top. So then it's like full at the top and kind of thinning out a little bit at the bottom and having more of that length at the bottom. Almost like I would say, a, a, hmm. Yeah, a V shape. Yeah, a V shape. A normal V shape. It kind of so it's out at the top and goes in at the end. So trim away to what you feel comfortable. And with curls, it does not have to be perfect. So there's room for mistakes, and it's just gonna look like you meant to do it that way. Great for a starter wig. I will always say go with some curly natural hair for a starter wig. You can't lose.
and right now I'm just separating the curls and trimming at the same time really trying to make it a little bit more messy a little frizz make it look more natural when you have perfect curls it just looks too wiggy and too uh, doing the most so we're not trying to we're trying to do the most but we want it to look as natural as possible then I got a little water bottle a nice spray spritz of water bottle <laughs> And I'm just adding a little bit more moisture to the hair so it'll look a little dewy. Trimming up the bangs a little more so it won't be overlapping over my eyes. And baby, we're good to go. Look at that. Look at that Destiny wig, girl. You're doing it. So the day you want to do the most and look fly, throw this wig on and you ready, girl. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I really explored and tried to make it original and different and playful please let me know what you think comment like and subscribe and as you always know i love you my leopard hotties